Hey everybody, what's up? Tim here with this week's SCE. I hope wherever you are, you are doing phenomenal and crushing it. And thanks so much for watching. Title for today's shoot is Be Glad For Your Haters. Now, I know when we hear that, be glad for your haters, you're thinking, what? Be glad for my haters? You have gotta be kidding me. But I'm here to say today that having haters is probably one of the best things that could ever happen to you. And let me explain why. Anytime any of us try to better ourselves or do something different or stand out or try to push towards a new level of greatness, there's gonna be people who support us and there's simply gonna be people who hate us and come against us and try to derail us. And many times it has more to say about them than it has to do with us. Now, why is that? Well, whenever somebody looks at an individual being successful and they are supportive, you can tell they're in alignment with that person. They're in vibrational alignment. They get it, they support that person because they're working from the same energy and they know if that person did it, they can do it too. And it inspires them and it encourages them. But the people who are at a disalignment look at that and resent it and become hateful and become bitter and become those haters. And the reason for that is because many times people's success exposes other people's weakness. And as opposed to them trying to get better and them trying to raise themselves up and look at that person and be glad for that person and be inspired, they are left with their own shortcomings and their own difficulties and their own inadequacies. And rather than face that, and rather than deal with that, they'd rather criticize the other person and pull them down. Because they know if they can pull them down and keep them from being successful, it's gonna make them feel better about themselves. So whenever you're successful and you get haters, realize you are stepping on somebody else's insecurities and has nothing to do with you, has everything to do with them. The second thing that's really cool is haters, believe it or not, are oftentimes your biggest fans. They're secretly jealous and they're secretly envious of you, and they wanna be like you, but they can't, and they don't know how. So as a result of that, we can almost develop compassion for the haters, because we realize they're stuck, and they just don't know how to get out of it. The third thing that haters tend to do is they're gonna test you and push you to see, are you really what you're saying you are? Are you really who you claim to be? Because people want leadership, but they want authentic and legitimate leadership, and there's a lot of fakers out there, there's a lot of posers out there, so anytime somebody raises their hand and tries to become successful, and tries to change, they're gonna push on you, and tweak you, and test you, and and see, do you really know what you're talking about? Do you really have what it takes? Are you really in it for the long haul? Are you really speaking the truth? Or are you just going through the motions? And if you do, eventually they swing around. But if not, they're gonna pull you down and you'll buckle in the process because you are just producing a facade. And then finally, I think our haters validate us. And the reason for that is because whatever you're doing, whether it's a fitness goal that you're reaching or a financial goal or a career goal or whatever, you are impacting other people. And even if you are producing haters, you're making a difference, they're noticing you. And that means they're thinking about the example you're setting and they're gonna resonate on that and they're gonna marinate on that and it's having an impact on them. And we gotta believe that it's gonna be used to pull them up and it may not pull them up today or tomorrow, but somewhere down the road, it's part of the overall process to help them get better as well. So you are having an impact both on the people that you're inspiring and both on the people that are hating you. It's just, it might take longer term, but your message is impacting them, otherwise they wouldn't be reacting. So as a result of that, I'm glad when my haters show up and you should be too because you are affecting those people. You are forcing them to deal with their own insecurities. You're hopefully gonna pull them up and it's just validating who you are and who you're becoming. And although they're trying to pull you down, don't let them. Use it as inspiration and encouragement to be better and to continue down your path and seek your purpose, your truth, your calling, and your destiny. Never ever let anybody pull you off of that. So this is Tim with today's SCE. Be glad for your haters because they help make you. You're gonna help pull them up. They validate who you are and the fact that you're on the right track. So thanks so much again for watching. Be glad for your haters. I'll talk to you soon.